Hi everyone, my name is Leslie and I am here with a video today about this beautiful Coach Quilted Tabby 26 and I thought I'd um, embark on my YouTube journey and what better way to start than with a handbag that I knew that I wanted to get in 2024. So there'll be a whole nother slew of videos with all the background <laughs> about my handbag journey and my YouTube journey, but nonetheless, I thought I'd start the year off right, showcasing this beauty. And so I am so, so grateful to my SA for helping me secure this. I saw the videos come out with a few people that had posted what they had purchased with the very um, minimal quantity that they released of the quilted tabby in the 20 and the 26 size. And I knew I wanted the 26 size. I am not a petite person. I'm 5'3", but um, I just, I'm not a small bag person. And so, I knew I wanted to get my hands on this and I had honestly no clue if it was gonna come out with gold hardware. I was perfectly happy with the one in silver hardware, but anyway, thank you to my SA for reaching out to me. I happened to see him and let him know like, hey, think of me when you get this bag in and he did just that. So I guess this is a big quick plug to say, connect yourself with an SA because they will take good care of you. Um, and so thank you to you um, for helping me get this beauty. I said yes right away. I knew that I was gonna make this purchase. So when the tabbies came out, I knew that I wanted to get one and I tried just about every single uh, way they released the bag. I did have the soft tabby at one point and I loved that bag. It was beautiful. Like it was instant love right away, but I found myself not reaching for it because of the monogram and I have seasons where I'm okay with monogram and then I have seasons where I'm totally not. And I generally like to have a pretty low key profile and style. So I did end up um, letting that bag go and that was hard and I kind of was always like, ah, I'm not a collector. I purchased my bags to use them, but the tabby is just one of those bags you wanna have. And I never liked the pillow tabby and the regular tabbies were just a little too rigid and square. And so here we are with this one. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Literally two days before I got to unbox this beauty, I happened to um, have gone into a local um, boutique shop here that sells, they happen to have some inventory of um, some consigned luxury handbags and I held a Chanel classic flap in my hands and like these little folds here on the side, I don't wanna call something a dupe because the tabby is a tabby, right? But the lambskin leather on here, it there's just a lot of similarities and I don't think I'll ever be able to justify the price tag on a Chanel. And my wardrobe is such that that bag just doesn't make sense for me either. Uh, I just don't dress that way. Um, and so this is the best way to um, feel like I have that in my collection and have something that I can reach for that would be useful for me with a price tag. And this is not a cheap or inexpensive bag, but with a price tag that I could justify and be okay Okay with so anyhow this is such a beauty having it in my hands um, this bag will probably be a bag that I'll probably admire and not get a ton of use of and I'm okay with that I bought it knowing that that would be the case this is the only bag I have however that um, has a chain strap um, and is in the lambskin leather if I open up the bag here you kind of see that here um, it says coat the V tabby bag genuine Napa leather and uh, it's it's absolutely stunning so um, it's my only chain strap bag um, it's my only Napa leather bag it's my only quilted bag and it's in a form that I think that I'll be able to get some use from so anyhow I'm smitten over it if you can't tell um, I guess I'll kind of talk about some things regarding the bag um, since it's always helpful to kind of get an idea of what what it's like um, so we have the chain strap and you can wear it it's great for shoulder carry and then you also have it where you can cross body carry it I honestly was very surprised because I didn't think that I would like this crossbody and I'm a crossbody gal but I didn't think I would like this at all crossbody so again I walked into it thinking this is gonna be one of those bags that I do just like I just love on it, but 
um, that I wasn't gonna get a lot of wear of, but I happened to have a pair of jeans on and a chunky sweater, and I like that look of a, you know, more formal bag with juxtaposed with a more casual outfit and I don't dress that way but I think I'm going to and I'm going to give it an earnest try in 2024 new year new me right um, and I really it looked really good I was really really surprised yeah I thought it'd be so helpful to kind of see a little bit more about it so I'm going to set the bag down here and you kind of see what size it is again it's 20 it's a Coach Tabby 26. Um, it does have a back pocket here and it does have a magnetic closure in the back there. And um, you have the gold hardware here, the brass. And I will say, other people have shared other bags that have the same closing mechanism. And I always like to try things for myself before I make my own opinion. And it's not that bad. It's kind of like the Pochette Matisse where you kind of have to find the right spot. But sometimes I did, it hasn't been happening lately, but it would kind of like, when you go to open it, it would kind of get stuck there. But I think something like this with use might get a little bit better. But you have the compartments on the inside here. And this is new, new. So I have the packaging still inside. And I'll probably keep the packaging to keep the bag stuffed when I'm not using it just because this is more of a soft leather. But you have the textile fabric in here. And some people might dislike that. I happen to really like it because one thing I really noticed, I used to have the Pillow Madison. And that bag was kind of heavy and clunky and... I didn't end up keeping it, obviously, um, since I'm talking about it in the past tense, but it just, it felt very heavy and uncomfortable where this really feels very usable. And the Coach Tabby bag in general became, you know, so popular because even despite its compartments, it was super usable and super just easy and fuss free. And so you have similar compartments in there. Um, it kind of drives me crazy when people overly open their bags, so I'm sorry, I baby my bags um, and uh, people who end up buying them get, are the recipients of baby bags which is awesome for them but uh, I do use them and I do enjoy them but anyhow back to the inside here so it ha I, I like that it's a fabric lining because it keeps the weight down a little bit and it is inside this pocket it is a fabric lining as well and I tend to keep these in there too. I live in the south and it is humid and so I kind of like to keep these when I'm storing them. I don't store my bags in their dust bag just because I have an area where I can put it in the closet and it's enclosed but I like to keep those in there just because there is a lot of moisture in the air here. So anyhow you have this flap compartment here. You have a zipper compartment in here. I haven't even opened the zipper and same textile lining in here it it's I love this textile lining by the way um, it's a gorgeous bag it really does feel super high quality super luxurious I mean look at her she's just absolutely stunning and um, I guess it gives me to make some comparisons it gives me Chanel vibes obviously it kind of also reminds me someone mentioned it in a video of the Gucci Marmot bags which I never really liked because I didn't like the heart it had on the back um, and I'm a super cheesy person but I don't like cheesy accessories um, I guess that's where I become super plain Jane is in my handbags I like them to be very um, prim and proper so to speak and so it gives me um, Gucci Marmont bag vibes. It gives me Chanel vibes. Again, it reminds me, I would constantly eye the um, Tory Burch Fleming bag, but it was the small one was too small. I had one at one point that was too small, and the big one felt too big. Um, and so it, it really just, it's its own beauty. And so I don't wanna make these comparisons, but it's always helpful. One other thing to note is on the interior compartment, I know I kind of showed it, but um, it does, it is very similar to the Pochette Matisse uh, in that it has the compartments. And again, some people like the, comp the compartments, some people don't. 
When I'm in the mood, I find them super helpful. When I'm not in the mood, because I generally, I have found that I generally prefer an open, open compartment bag, but with this textile lining, I just feel like it keeps it simple. So you know you like it if you do. Um, and like I envision myself putting my cell phone in this pocket probably. This pocket is back here is large enough to fit an iPhone Pro Max. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and it fits back here. It pains me to shove it in there. I tried it once and I'm probably never going to do that again. Um, this is more like for a parking garage ticket, which I don't go to places usually that require a parking garage. <laughs> um, but you can put that in there. You can put a card holder in there for easy access. I don't own a card holder. Uh, so for me, this pocket sadly will be used useless, but you might find some use for us, use for it. But I do like, I don't know if you can hear it. You hear that? It has a magnetic closure. Same with this front pocket here. I'm giving you some ASMR. Um, so anyhow, I feel like I'm being a little rough with this bag, but isn't she beautiful? Really? What else can I say about this bag? It's an absolute stunner. I'm super excited to use her. Again, I know I'm probably not gonna get a lot of use out of this just because I do have a more casual wardrobe. And again, despite the fact that I said I, I like the way this looks, um, on an everyday basis, I'm a mama of five, really an adult and four kiddos. I cannot wear a lambskin bag around them. So this will be a date night bag. This will be, you know, just one that I'm like, I'm in the mood. And that said, um, I'm super excited to wear it. So without further ado, for those of you who don't know, I have kept this beauty on and I'm gonna make this camera official, but I kept the price tag on because I wanted to wait to do this video and I am going to cut the price tag off. If you don't know, um, you need to keep the price tag on with Coach if you wanna return it for any reason. Um, so I am making it official. This beauty is mine, that price tag is off. The Coach Quilted Tabby, um, I, I love it. It's just, it looks like a timeless and classic beauty and I really feel, I know everybody always says this when they get a new bag, but I do really feel like this is gonna be in my collection for a pretty long time, if not permanently, just because I think it's just one of those classic beauties that, again, I'm personally not gonna buy a Chanel classic flap. And so this is my way of satiating that occasional FOMO that I get when I see one or when I see something similar, even like the Tory Burch Fleming. I like that, but I'm a collector. Again, I say that lightly, but I love Coach. Coach has been such a quintessential brand for me. And um, so I, I really do see this being in my collection for a very long time. It really does feel, it feels wonderful. It smells wonderful. It's such a beauty and I'm excited. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.